I'm sure this is a perfectly rational and unbiased journalistic take on concept ship sales by Cloud Imperium. Uh, <laughs> Because it's written by Kotaku, so it has to be. Star Citizen gets a slap on the wrist for overselling ships that may never exist. Uh, also called concept ship sales. And the word concept, quite literally, meaning concept. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many people are unaware of that. Or if there are uh, illiterate people who are watching the video right now, uh, just realize that the concept in itself is just that if you it, look it up in a dictionary um i know it's it's difficult to do all that work but uh just take some time to understand uh, what that is and, and maybe a little investigation uh, on what a concept sale is before you purchase anything uh maybe maybe just read a little bit star citizen the winds of winter of video games Referring to the fact that this hasn't been out now for over eight years, that there's nothing playable with Star Citizen, that it's one complete giant catastrophe, which isn't true. We show gameplay here all the time, people having a good time. Uh, it is still an alpha. I hate saying that, uh, you know, it is a little bit long in the tooth. It is a little bit ridiculous, but what is trying to be achieved here is not uh, anything uh, to what we are normally accustomed to in the gaming industry or at least that's what it's shooting to be um it's recently come under fire for misleading advertising practices at least in the eyes of one british regulatory body Eurogamer reports that the united kingdom's advertising standards authority that sounds very proper has told developer cloud imperium games to clarify that star citizen's so-called concept ships aren't technically available yet even if players can fork over real money for them. You know, that's kind of funny because uh, it does say that they're concept ships. And uh, being that I'm a grown-ass adult, I realize what concept means. Uh, and also, it's pretty clearly labeled. Uh, last time I looked at a concept ship, uh, I understood what it was that was being sold and realized that it wasn't going to be in-game yet. In fact... Almost a non-issue here because if well, let me let me type this up here. Hold on one second. Let me get this on the screen for you. Uh, you can literally reclaim your pledge. You're not stuck if the ship doesn't come out in the time that you are happy with. Uh, you can literally reclaim it for in-store credit to use for something else. Again, requires reading. Uh, but anytime I would imagine that somebody would be spending over a hundred dollars or more for a concept sale. I would hope that before they go ahead with the purchase, they understand what it is that they're getting into. Most likely, what I am reading is going to end up being somebody who's ticked off who reported them. I can almost guarantee it. I can I can almost guarantee that that's what this is. I, I can almost smell it here. The ad industry in the United Kingdom is partly self-regulated, yada, yada, yada. The ASA is a primary agency like the FCC, blah, 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 blah. Over regulation, over regulation, save yourself from, you know, let's save all the illiterate people from not being able to read. Okay. Uh, you know, there's two sides to every coin, right? Some people can look at these and say, well, these are JPEGs you're buying. Okay. All right. Some people look at the artist's concept and say, you know what? I, I like this. And they understand what the project is about. And they go ahead and they pledge their own money for that, realizing that it is not going to be in game. Uh, anytime soon if in fact that does not get delivered on time there is a right to be upset uh but however like i stated you can take that pledge and then you can convert it to something else you are not stuck um yada 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 in july reddit user matty okay <laughs> I know a lot of you are going to think that I read this ahead of time, but I did not. I nailed that one. In July, Reddit user Matty filed a complaint with the ASA regarding Cloud Imperiums. And it's Reddit. You know, it's Reddit. It's like the most trolley place in the world. Uh, with the ASA regarding Cloud Imperiums practice selling concept ships for the purpose of funding Star Citizen's long and rocky development. Um... Eurogamer verified Matsy's complaint. Concept ships aren't yet in Star Citizen, a game which has raised more than 350 million in crowdfunding 
but are planned for inclusion at some point. You know, there are plenty of ships that have gone through all phases and from concept to, you know, finish. There are some that we were waiting on still, uh, but it's not as if like all these concept uh, sales are not coming to fruition, you know, like they are, you know, there's a good majority that are, there's, there's some that aren't, this is uh, something that they have many, many people, uh, working on. And as the project gains more momentum and, and more funds, uh, they will continue to devote people towards these, because this is the biggest revenue driver. One of the biggest discussions that should be had is what happens after the game is released, because Chris has stated that he will not continue these, uh, after the fact and I'm very curious as this is the primary revenue source for star citizen what happens after that's the that's the bigger thing for me that is the that is a much better discussion than what we're seeing here this is per, to me absolutely ridiculous uh yeah uh, you know th th this to me is like people that are illiterate cannot cannot read what it is that they're paying for and then the ASA is coming in and saying, that's right. You guys are being completely deceptive. And it's like, no, 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 that's not it at all. People aren't taking the time to realize what they're spending their fucking money on. And that to me uh, is just the difference between a child and an adult. End of end of news story. There you go. That's what's happening. The, the, so what, what has happened uh, at the very end of this? Uh, it says that as of today, the bottom of the, uh, they were talking about the good talk rail in which we gave away last month. It is a concept sale. Um, congratulations, Anak, one of our members, uh, ha had won it. Congratulations. And if he doesn't like it, he can take it and he can, you know, uh, meld it down and, or, you know, take his pledge and reclaim it and push it towards something else. That's how it goes. As of today, is writing the bottom of the Gatak Railing's web listing, uh, which says the ship is not currently for sale, includes a disclaimer that Gatak Railing is being offered for the first time. So, <laughs> most of these are, I mean, I, I, if there is an issue where the concept sales aren't clearly defined, okay. It, it, you know, if, if on the actual ads they are not having, like, this is a concept ship sale, it will not be in game, right? Um, Maybe that happened on the Gatak Reel, and maybe that happened on a, on the, on a few others. Then, okay, it, it, we we have something very valid here. But every every concept ship uh, I have seen personally always uh, put something on there that says, okay, this is not in game yet. This is uh, in development, and you're buying a concept. And again, concept ship sale. Concept, okay. It's it's literally in the name of it. And, you know, this is revenue. And, you know, regarding to people out there that saying you're buying a JPEG, you're absolutely buying a JPEG. You're, you're buying a design, but these people are adults and they are allowed to buy JPEGs. Uh, it's, it's no different than people buying NFTs right now that you see in the crypto market. I mean, they're, they're paying a hell of a lot more than star citizenships. <laughs> Uh, and and they're adults, and they're spending their money the way they want to spend it. And uh, you know, if 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 it's because you're angry because you're not taking the time to read something, then it's just shame on you, dude. And you know, that's all I've got to say about the issue. So illiteracy, big problem all around the world. Thanks.